Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of 3D Printed. In this episode, I'm going to go through printing this case for your Raspberry Pi Model B Plus 2 or 3. So uh, anyhow, let's get to it. Alright, so this is what we're going to be printing today. Uh, it was made by this guy right here. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'll probably mess that up. But uh, anyway, this is a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus Model 2 and Model 3 case. Uh, some info on it. I'll put the link in the uh, description. So, uh, uh, there's different versions of it. I'm using this cap.stl because I'm sure you have to have that for all of them. And then the standard sleeve.stl, which has little ventilation slots cut in it. Uh, but no access to the GPIO pin. So, if you want access to the GPIO pin, you'll have to go with either that one or uh, this one. Alright, so first off, we'll go ahead and uh, start warming the printer's bed up because that always takes a very long time. So uh, I like to do that first, and then we'll load in files here. I'm not sure if it'll actually let me select two, probably not. That one and this one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate these so that they're facing in a couple different directions there. Or I want that one about there. We'll move this over just a hair. Don't want them too close together. And I think I've got plenty of room just in the middle of my bed for them, so that'll work fine. You see there's some ventilation slots cut into it. Then this will just fit into here, I do believe. And there's the holes in the side for the different ports. So uh and the slicer they were saying to do 25% infill and 0.2 millimeter layer height, so uh, we're gonna do that. That's what the instruction said was 0.2 millimeter layer height and then 25% infill, so about uh, 2 hours and 43 minutes, uh, which is always a little bit low. It's probably gonna be even like 3 hours, but uh, yeah. alright. So I actually just noticed something here. This part needs to be flipped this cap part. If you notice it's not actually, it's flat on this side that's facing up but not on the other side. So that needs to be rotated uh, probably in a Y by 180 degrees and then you have that on the top part. So that should print a lot better like that. So yeah, I just noticed that because the uh, that little brim around the outside of it that it prints didn't look right. So slice that again. And it should change. There we go. Alright, so uh, now we're just waiting on the printer to warm up and we'll start printing this thing. And I'll get the time lapse set up here.
All right, so here are the parts straight off the printer. You got the main case here. You got some stringing going on in between the vents. I'm not sure if you can see it or not there, but uh, there's a little bit of stringing mainly on the back side. It's not too bad, and you can see some more fairly thick strings. Like right in there, that probably will have to be broken out. And I might have to do some cleanup on that, see if I can pull those little bits of plastic out, because those are actually kind of thick. See that? That's all stringing right there. I don't have the uh, printer set up to the most optimum settings that it could be set at, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see if our actual, uh, I've got a Raspberry Pi 2 here, we'll see if this will actually go into here, so I think it's supposed to slide along a little bit of rail in there, right up to there, and then this piece probably. Oh, I think it's supposed to go in there further than that. Not sure, I don't really want to force it in there. Alright, so I got this thing cleaned up just a little bit more. We'll see if it actually will fit into here. Kind of snapped in place that time. And I do believe that this is actually supposed to slip in underneath the uh, ports here. Like this, underneath the metal pieces of the ports. Let's see if we can get this to go into here. Alright, so now with this thing actually in here, you can see it's not quite perfect. I don't know if it's just my printer's not quite uh, set up perfectly, but uh, they don't line up quite right. Now this might actually, I don't know, maybe I should uh, try to put this on here again line it up a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's about as good as it gets. Uh, you see it's kind of crooked in the front. And it's not quite perfect. There's a gap back here. Yeah, it's probably just the way that my printer is. Uh, but anyway. Doesn't, doesn't look too bad anyway. It's got a front on it and stuff. It's not really noticeable unless you're really staring at it. Especially once you have pl stuff plugged in here, I'm sure it's not going to look too bad. Uh, but anyway, there's a 3D printed Raspberry Pi case for you. Looks fairly nice. you got ventilation on both sides. And your uh, USB ports on the side here. you got the... Uh, power input, HDMI, and that little uh, three and a half millimeter jack there. And then you can still actually, I think I can take that SD card out of there still. Yeah, I can. So anyway, there's a little Raspberry Pi case. If you want to print this, I'll put the links in the description. I uh, hope you enjoyed episode number two of 3D Printed. And uh, stay tuned for episode three or any of my other videos. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.